The answer lies in the heart of the battle. Well, it really is interesting that I've decided against my better judgment to really upload how I play in fighting games to YouTube. Especially for a game like Street Fighter, where your skills as a fighting game player are really dissected to the core. Thankfully, I think I can hold my own in a good old-fashioned Street Fighter fight. It's just that I am not consistent. I really need to work on just making sure I get the same results over and over again instead of just being a complete wreck in one fight and then just absolutely whooping someone in another. And thankfully I take crazy risks like that and it's really... You don't really have time to think in fighting games. Can you stand up after oh, that? yeah, hi, uh, welcome to Let's Fight with Rando Chris. I am that, that guy, and right now we are looking at a, an Ibuki fight. Not a, not a Kabuki Ibuki, or however you say it, I don't know, I have been feeling really weird today. Anyway, fighting Ibuki players, they're... There's definitely a lot of things that any Kuki player I've fought always go for. It's usually for the reset where Ibuki uh, does her command jump to do a cross up against you. And really, yeah, a lot of Ibuki players go for reset whenever you fight them. Thankfully, I was able to sort of stall that or find a counter to break the momentum. And doing that, you can really just slow down their game plan, because that's what a lot of these characters need in order to really win against you in Street Fighter, is momentum. They need to carry that with them throughout the whole match. You either gotta dictate the pace, or they're gonna do it, and you're just gonna end up feeling overwhelmed, which will lead you to panic, and then disaster will strike against you. So, anyone who's seen me play fighting games before outside of online sessions, they would know that I typically pick characters like Ryu or Ken. Before, when I wasn't really into playing online, I usually just went through all around the rosters of whatever fighting game I played. So. I didn't focus on having one main and a second. I just went all crazy and usually just pick characters that I would absolutely suck at by only playing with them because I just like how their moves look. And that's sort of how you kind of try to find the character that's right for you. It may take a bit of a while, but once you do, it. You just gotta work and work at getting used to the character's range, the frames that they have on their moves, and once you start getting a better understanding of that, like I probably should, then you know you just feel a lot more comfortable using that character. The only fighting game that I would really say that I could be pretty good with anyone would be Garo, Mark of the Wolves. And that's just because all of the characters the feel, the res you know, I always feel comfortable with any of the characters. What I'm able to do with them, it kind of changes up, but the even then, putting me against someone, I would be fine p using, say, B. Genet versus Gato, or Hakuto Maru versus Pizok. And I've just realized I'm not really talking that much about the matches I'm doing. Um, so yeah, for those of you who are wondering, if you can't tell by the BP, 
Ryu is my main in Street Fighter 4, El Fuerte is my second. If I had a third character right now, it's Relento, but I'm definitely not up to snuff to him to really go out online and use them. But anyway, this match here with Kotal Khan 666, I gotta say, I was really not expecting Mr. Khan to be so free, as some would call it. I could understand that since he has no BP as a god, I would guess, or she, I don't know who the gender of the player is, but anyway. It doesn't seem like they have a lot of experience with the god, especially when they're constantly going for cross-ups, and they're definitely not making the distance. I guess that would explain why, when I was recording these replays, that Kotel Khan's main character was Rose. So maybe they're just trying to find their second, but let me tell you, it's not going to be Sagat. They'd probably just be better off trying someone else other than Sagat. So, yeah, like I said before, um... And now for something oh. completely different. Yeah, as a little bonus for all my subscribers, all 113 of them and last time I checked, this is a special fight that happened when I was playing Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. And let me tell you, it is interesting. I'll just let it play for yourself.